John, you brought me here. What, what are we doing? Ah, uh, we are gonna talk about the new model we've got, the Double XL. It's extra fat. God damn! All right, <laughs> uh, where do we start? Right. So the reason I call it Double XL is it is extra strong. So we have an XL model which is a little bit deeper um, and it has a nice back panel. And you can see these Double XL machines look like the XL ones, which is to say. I was about to say, John, yeah. come on. The only difference is the color here. That's right. So they look like the XL machines. You've got the back panel that hides everything. Here we've got it countersunk. Um, and it's got these new steam ones on it. So I've got two machines here. Let's say I had two machines, actually. I gotta be, I gotta be honest, the white one is beautiful. I know, the white one is super awesome. And this has nothing to do with race, it's the machine. <laughs> um. Though Not I, my preference. You are prejudiced. We should, <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> we all are prejudiced. Yes, yes, the white one is more beautiful. Yes. This here is our old steam wand, and I have left it here to mm. compare it with the new one, okay? So this old one here, you can see it just doesn't angle as far, and the mm. new one angles way further. Right. Uh, what that meant is that uh, when I was trying to go steam, it just doesn't go far enough in to go yeah. steam. Now, this was a copy, this is a design I did copying some other famous espresso machines, but mm. they don't really worry about this hands-free steaming. That was something I really wanted to nail. And so in our second iteration, which is what's shipping now, this is now angled much more sharply and comes down much further. Yeah. So you can see it now goes to the right point. Okay. Right. Now we actually set this depth, so at 200 mils of milk, this is exactly where it needs to be. So you don't actually have to think, you just put it in, yeah. push it down, hit start. That's pretty clever, actually. Right. The fact that you thought of where does it end, so you know that this is just... Yeah, it's easy. iteration, iteration. Yeah. Make a lot of coffee here. That's why we're all so hyper. <laughs> all right. Uh, but let's talk about what's new in the double XL model. Please. So, it is 50% more powerful. It means that we use almost 10 amps of power. Okay. okay. It also means the double XL only runs on 220 to 240 volts of power. Got it. So those of you in the US with 110 volts of power, well... Sorry. Finally, you're gonna to have to <laughs> join the rest of the world, call your electrician, and they will give you a 240 volt line because little known fact, virtually every house in America actually has 240. It comes in the house, they then split it into 110 lines. The electrician will happily charge you not that much money, give you a special plug. Mm -hmm. I have just taken the back panel yeah. off to show you the guts. Okay? Right. Now, this is the power cable, mm. and on a US machine, you're gonna get a cable that has what's called a NEMA 15 plug. So it's a 15 amp NEMA plug. When your electrician shows up, tell them you want a NEMA plug. Okay. Those of you in the rest of the world, you don't have to worry. You just <laughs> get your normal plug. The cable that comes with it will work. So UK, Australia, Why Israel, Switzerland. Why do they Switzerland. always have to be so different? Because they didn't want to electrocute people. <laughs> Whereas the rest of the world was cool electrocuting people so we could steam milk faster. You just defended the Americans. Whatever. Okay. This machine is 50% more powerful. It uses mm. up 50% more power. Mm. What does that actually mean? Okay. Concretely, it means 50% faster steaming time. Mm. So on this machine, to do a normal 200 milliliter latte, that's mm. 8 ounce latte, you're looking about 32, 34 seconds from a refrigerator. Okay. Mm. On this machine, you're looking at about 22 seconds to do one. If you do two, you'll do it in about 40 seconds. All right, the so long this is basically steam. a commercial grade machine. This is our attempt to get into the commercial space. Right, right. yeah. Um, and to do that, you need commercial grade power. Mm -hmm. Now, part of that is the Steam One tip has got to have three holes in it. That's pretty cool. Right, and the reason it has three holes in it, as yeah. opposed to this model here, which is the D1XL, which has one hole, mm -hmm. is the steam is so much more powerful mm. that you get almost twice as much pressure coming out of this right. if you put it on this machine. Which basically gets the, mach the steaming process to be much faster. Yes, if you put the single hole mm. on this, the pressure mm. is five bar and it's swirling so intensely, right. it's basically splashing milk in your face. And uh, we don't want that. So no. <laughs> the more powerful steam machine comes with a different Steam One tip. There's mm. three holes in it directing straight out. Yeah. Um, and that will lower your steam time. It'll also mm. still make it easy to make good microphone because this is basically like three Steam Ones in one. Right. Out, okay? Yeah. It's not blowing a hole through the bottom of your milk jug. Mm. So steaming nice. is the big thing. Yeah. And your pressure is also going to be more between three and four bars of yeah. steam versus two and three. In layman terms, yes. 
Um, what that is, is that the microphone, the quality of your phone mm. is all about what's called shearing. It's all about this shearing force slicing yeah. the bubbles. Yeah. The greater the shearing force, the more fine the bubbles. Okay? Got it. So getting our pressure up from two to three to three to four, up to four and a half bar mm. gives you even tighter microphone and it's even more stable. Okay. Okay. So that's why you want to do that. Uh, you, like all our machines, have control over the steam. You can make it faster or slower or drier or wetter, all those things. Yeah. We ship it to you with what we think works best and you can tinker if you want. Nice. Okay. Next thing that's new with that 50% power is the machine heats up in three minutes. Now. God damn. So the, the normal machine is already very fast. Yeah, no one really complains about the steamy, the, about the heat up time. Yeah, I was going to say, are you just racing with yourself basically at this point? It's just a nice to have. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, but if you want the fastest machine, hey, that's nice. But mm -hmm. there is another reason that the extra power is interesting, and that's mm -hmm. that you can make pour overs with this machine. I was expecting you to say you can mine Bitcoin, so I'm pretty disappointed, to be honest. <laughs> We're going to get there. Yeah, okay. Um, so you can change this basket out with our pour over basket, and what it does is it turns into a kind of shower that comes out of here, huh. okay? And you put what's called a V60 or other kind of pour over vessel, it's like one of those V's, you put your coffee grounds in and it sprays water all over the place. Mm. Now all our machines can make pour overs for one or two people. Right. And the reason it's one or two people is that at the lower power, we can't pump enough hot water to mm. make really big pour overs. Right. Okay. This one is significantly more powerful. At this one here, to give real numbers, mm. we can go up to six milliliters per second before yeah. we can no longer keep the heat up. Right. On this one, we're currently hitting eight milliliters per second and it's still not blinking. We Which think is we can how many people? So we think we can do pour overs for three to four people. Nice. Okay. Okay. So for a cafe- How long does a pour over on. take? Because usually that takes long, right? The big thing that's annoying about pour overs mm. is not the time it takes, but the time it takes the person. Right. right. So the person's sitting there doing this. Yeah. Right. And see this gesture I'm doing here? Yeah. Right. That is totally wrong. Yeah. If I were doing that, I would yeah. be making a bad pour over. And this right. is the thing about pour overs mm. is as you do this, you think you're doing a good job, yeah. but you're varying the heights, you're totally yeah. screwing up your pour over. So this is basically, this machine does that for you. This was nine months of Scott Rayo pounding on us, getting us to make the right basket that gets exactly the right spray exactly the right pressure. That's crazy. Churning the bed like it were dough, <laughs> making what he calls the best pour overs of his life. Okay, yeah. uh, so, we gotta do another video about that. Because we gotta I, do a video I, I, I genuinely wanna see how it looks like. I, I don't really have an imagination <laughs> for it. And I work here, so. <laughs> um, so that has been something else because it's kind of our secret weapon for cafes. Cafes already have these big machines that they've already paid for. Yeah. So they might lust after this machine, mm. but they already have something on the counter. Yeah. But what they don't have is mm. anything for making pour overs. Right. So we are selling a fair amount of these already to cafes who mm. just use them to make pour overs. Yeah. We're hoping they buy the bigger model to make even bigger pour overs. Yeah. You can, I mean, you can have that just for pour overs next to your gigantic machine. Totally. Um, which makes sense because it's so small. That's right. Those are all the things with the new D1 XXL model. More power gives you faster steaming, better microphone, faster heating of the machine, more and larger pour overs, and more sex appeal. So those are all good reasons to consider this Hence machine. Hence the XXL. That's Got right. It. Even bigger than the XXL. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> now, with that more power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And see you in our next video. See ya.